I'm back with another video today. I'm going to be doing an election prediction between Donald Trump, sorry, she's not on its side, Donald Trump and Michelle Obama. Um, of course, before I begin this prediction, I want to mention that I do understand that it is unlikely that Michelle Obama is the nominee for the Democrats at this point. Right now, it's going to be Joe Biden. I put my money on Joe Biden to be the nominee. But Michelle Obama and Gavin Newsom's names both have been, um, you know, in the past recently been seemingly put to the forefront uh, as possible replacements to Joe Biden. She's never even expressed interest in this, but this is a hypothetical election between these two. I do think that Michelle Obama would be a very strong candidate for the Democrats going up against Donald Trump. She does not have any, you know, like Joe Biden obviously is the incumbent and Michelle Obama does not have any, is not associated with Joe Biden. She's more of associated with Barack Obama, who Americans definitely, uh, like more than Joe Biden, you know, objectively, that's, that's, well, I guess not objectively, technically, because Joe Biden got the most votes than any other person who's ever ran for president before. But I would say that Obama has a more favorable rating among, among excuse me, among Americans uh, than Joe Biden. But without further ado, let's get into our safe Obama states. I don't think I'd ever be saying safe Obama states again, but here we are, um, except it's not Barack, it's Michelle now. Uh, we're going to give her a lot of these northeastern states. I'm also going to give Michelle the state of Colorado. I don't really see Trump having much of a chance there. I forgot. Home state of Illinois, Barack Obama's original state where he was a senator. Uh, safe Trump states. I'll put Alaska in there just for the sake of things. Even though I do know Alaska did get almost into single digits. Almost. Was double digits in 2020, but was pretty close. Um, but this is going to round out safe Trump states. I do think that Trump will win Iowa and Ohio and Maine second by safe margins. Similar reasons, you know, trending Republican, Colorado's trending uh, more liberal. Likely Obama states. Uh, likely Obama's going to be New Mexico. It's going to be Virginia. It's going to be Maine at large. It's going to be New Hampshire. It's going to be Minnesota. All going to be likely for Michelle Obama, getting her to 225 electoral votes to Trump's 49. You can already see that she's just doing better nationally. Uh, I do think that Minnesota, you know, getting that black vote out, especially with Michelle Obama getting suburban women to come out, she will get those numbers. And she will get those numbers in those cities, Minneapolis, and you're going to see that in the Rust Belt as well. Likely Trump states. Florida is going to be a likely Trump state. That's not even Michelle Obama's fault. That's just because of how things have shifted in Florida. Um, I'm also going to give Donald Trump the state of Texas as a likely Trump state. That's going to be it for likely Trump states. Georgia is going to be closer. Uh, a judge recently uh, ruled that, that Georgia must use paper ballots in the 2024 election, which is going to make it a bit interesting. I do think that it's it's going to cause Trump to actually do probably a bit better. Um, but with Michelle and black people coming out in Atlanta, you definitely could see uh, Georgia going in favor of the Democrats. Let's start off with lean Michelle Obama states. Michigan is going to be a lean Michelle Obama state as well as Nebraska's second congressional district. That's going to be it for lean Obama, getting her to 241 electoral votes. The Detroit area is going to come out in favor of Obama. Lean Trump states, that's going to be the state of North Carolina. Donald Trump will win the state of North Carolina by a lean margin. I see him winning the state of Arizona by a lean margin, um, getting him to 246 electoral votes. So a nail-biter of an election, and I guess I'll make it a nail-biter of an election, but that's going to be it for the lean Trump states. Uh, heading into the tilt Obama states, tilt Michelle Obama. I'm giving her the state of Pennsylvania to tilt in her favor. Looking at Donald Trump tilt states, I'm going to give Donald Trump the state of Nevada tilting in his favor. I'm going to give Donald Trump the state of Wisconsin in his favor, 262 to 260 electoral votes. All of these margins in the Rust Belt reflect how more conservative to Democrat each state is to each other. Wisconsin's the most Republican state out of those four states in that blue wall Rust Belt. Then comes Pennsylvania, then comes Michigan, then comes Minnesota. Same margins, Donald Trump against Joe Biden. Donald Trump, Joe Biden beat Donald Trump by 0.7% in Wisconsin. One and a half percent in Pennsylvania, two and a half percent in Michigan, and I believe over five percent in Minnesota. Going back to 2016, Trump won Wisconsin by 0.7 percent. He won Wentzel, Pennsylvania by 0.7 percent. He won Michigan by 0.3 percent and lost Minnesota by about one and a half percent. So all of those reflect how right or how left each of those states are. Regardless, heading into Georgia, Georgia is the state that, deter that 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 will determine who is elected president at this point. I believe that it will tilt in, in favor of Michelle Obama, narrowly giving her the presidency, narrowly, 276 to 262. This is going off of the fact that I haven't seen any polls 
coming out of these two head to head, obviously, because no, she's never made any uh, comments, I don't believe, about her being interested in running this election. Nobody really expects that. I know that a lot of these uh, people that are saying that, hey, you know, she should jump in the ring are just saying that, and it's probably not going to happen. But just based off of what I believe and how I believe she would perform nationally, getting African Americans to come out in her favor, all of the current African American demographic changes that you see, maybe slightly supporting Trump now, that would pretty quickly vanish. You know, you see not among black women, but among black men. Uh, previously in 2020, they supported Trump. I believe Trump got about eight, 10 percent of the black vote. When you look at the polling now, he's getting about 20 percent of the black vote. Now, that's very helpful for him. But when he goes up against Joe Biden, but when he goes up against Michelle Obama, that's going to dissipate. Same with support among Hispanics, same with support among suburban women. Suburban women now kind of still supporting Biden, but shifting away, shifting a little bit away. When you look at Virginia with the Republicans and Glenn Youngkin and Nikki Haley is winning in Virginia against uh, Joe Biden with Donald Trump on the ticket. I don't really know, but they are shifting away from Biden. With Michelle Obama, she will attract them. And I do think that she'd perform very well in, in suburban states like Virginia, like Georgia, even like North Carolina, although I believe Donald Trump would still win there. Uh, Michelle Obama, regardless, elected 47th president of the United States. The Democrats seemingly uh, believe that uh, running the first ladies of the former presidents is now the the move to do with Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, I guess, you know, Jill Biden will throw her hat in the ring. Who knows um, what will happen next? I guess Rosalind Carter no longer, unfortunately. May she rest in peace. Um, 276 to 262, uh, Michelle, Michelle Obama defeats Donald Trump, winning the presidency in not the most narrow margin, but one of the closest margins uh, in history of the United States. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Like and comment your thoughts on my election prediction and have a good day.